It's time for another Around the Storage Block Chalk Talk. I'm your host and chalkboard writer, the IT Oddfather, Calvin Zito. In this Chalk Talk, we're going to do a technical overview of the HPE Electra 6000. I did a general overview of the HPE Electra family when we announced it back in May 2021. And I also recently just did an Electra 9000 deep dive. I have a playlist of Chalk Talks that go deeper than I can go in this Chalk Talk. So click on the eye in the top right of the screen to see the playlist. The HPE Electra 6000 is based on the DNA of 10 years of proven market success with HPE Nimble Storage. Let's look at five numbers. Over 45,000, over 20,000, greater than six nines, 4.9 out of five, and top 1%. What do these mean? Over 45,000 solutions deployed globally. Over 20,000 customers deployed. Six nines guaranteed and measured data availability across the installed base. 4.91 out of five global customer support rating and top 1% business-to-business NPS in the storage industry. With the 6000, HPE is delivering true hybrid and multi-cloud. We're doing it with primary flash, secondary flash, and multi-cloud storage. Primary flash with all flash arrays, secondary flash with hybrid flash arrays, multi-cloud storage with HPE cloud volumes, and the HCI experience with HPE Nimble Storage DHCI. One of the more important things to understand with the 6000 is we are delivering cloud operational agility that is powered by Data Services Cloud Console. I've done a chalk talk on that. Data Services Cloud Console is delivering simplified deployment, intent-based provisioning, invisible upgrades, and managed from anywhere with a SaaS-based experience. A really important element of nimble storage in HPE Electra 6000 is the OS, based on cache accelerated sequential layout or the Castle file system. It's a log structured file system and always writes full stripes spanning the whole disk group. It uses a lightweight sweeping process to consolidate small holes into free full stripe writes. It doesn't fill holes and has very efficient snapshots. It uses variable block sizes with variable block size inline compression and inline deduplication. As a result, you get predictable performance at high capacity utilization. I think looking at an IO helps make this clear. The OS places all incoming writes into the active controller non-volatile DIM. It mirrors data to the standby controller DIM, and then the standby controller DIM acknowledges the write to the active controller. That then gets acknowledged back to the host. And in the background, it will move the data into the DRAM, where we apply variable block deduplication, variable block compression, and blocks are formed into sequential stripe writes that are then written to SSD and indexed. One of the things that's critical to the architecture is the golden rules of data protection. A higher priority than anything else. First, there's data integrity. Don't return incorrect data. Two, data durability. Don't ever lose data. And three, data availability. Don't lose access to data. Let's look at a couple of these in detail, starting with triple plus parity RAID, the industry's best protection for flash. Triple plus parity RAID uses multiple parity calculations and can tolerate simultaneous failures of three SSDs. And with built-in spares, you can sustain a fourth failure. There's intradrive parity that fixes sector losses under multiple failures. RAID rebuilds are quick, and raw to usable data capacity is around 75%. If we compare that to RAID 5 and the level of availability that triple plus parity RAID provides, it's over 450,000 times more protection than a six disc RAID 5 group. There's also cascading multi-stage checksums, and this goes beyond per block checksums. The result is that it delivers the most comprehensive checksums available today. There's full protection against the most insidious silent array corruption. Together with triple plus parity RAID, this protection becomes the strongest data integrity offered by any storage device. And there are leading enterprise level data protection and efficiencies. SmartSnap are instant, efficient, granular, and application aware. Smart Replicate are granular and efficient replications, async, and peer persistence. Smart Secure is FIPS 140 2 certified encryption at rest. Restore with near instant and no data movement with less risk. Smart Copies zero data move, thin, and higher utilization and lower costs. And Smart Reduce intelligent data reduction, smarter consumption, and lower costs. What Nimble Storage was famous for, and we've continued with HPE Electra 6000, is global intelligence powered by HPE InfoSight. Self-managing, self-healing, and self-optimizing. One of the chalk talks I have is looking at HPE InfoSight, so be sure to check that out. And it's worth mentioning the transformed support experience with HPE Electra 6000. 
One call to level 3 with no support tiers. Average hold time is less than a minute. 93% of cases are opened automatically, and 86% of cases provide solutions automatically. 54% of solved issues are outside of storage, and it results in greater than 6 nines availability for the platform. The next graphic is one that I suggest you pause the video and read the details. The integration with VMware and the HPE Electra 6000 is unmatched. You can see on the screen many of the things we've done to make the VMware experience the best that it can be. And I can't leave the VMware discussion without bringing up VVols. One point I want to make is that HPE is the market leader for VVols. Early in 2021, one of our competitors was touting that they were the number one vendor. But that was pure BS. Almost 50% of all VVols deployed are run on HPE storage. I want to look quickly at the alliances and solutions ecosystem for the HPE Electra 6000. Across the top, you can see the business apps, VDI, databases, and private cloud environments supported with the 6000. And there's hypervisor and containers from the major hypervisor and container platforms. And data protection integration that you can see with several vendors at the bottom of the screen. A couple more topics to touch on. Storage class memory has gone mainstream with the 6000. With Intel Optane, you get all SCM-like performance and near all flash array pricing and two times faster response times with sub-200 microsecond average latency. The timeless storage program is also important to mention. You get perpetual refreshes without caveats. You get family upgrades that bring your storage platform and data management to the latest and greatest storage architecture offered by HPE every three years. It lowers your business risk, guaranteed performance increases with cloud-like agility for on-premises storage. HPE Electra's Timeless Storage. This is another place to pause the video to read everything I'm going to show you. It transforms storage acquisitions, storage maintenance, and storage modernization. Your investments with HPE Electra are timeless. To learn more, go to hpe.com slash storage slash Electra. You can find our blog at hpe.com slash storage slash blog. I always love to hear from you on Twitter where you can find me as Calvin Zito. Until next time, thanks for joining me on this Around the Storage Block Chalk Talk.